Congratulations, class of 2021. You have done it. You have earned your public policy degree. My name is Christina Gibson Davis, and I am professor of public policy and director of the public policy program. On behalf of the faculty and staff of the Sanford School, I want to offer our warmest congratulations to you on this achievement. It has not been easy. The words grit and perseverance come to mind. But you have done it. You are now Sanford alumni and are poised to do great things in the world. It is my honor to introduce this year's Sanford Award winners and the class speakers. These individuals embody Terry Sanford's vision for our school by excelling in the classroom and the community and demonstrating their commitment to public service. Each of the people I will introduce today have videos of their own to watch, and I encourage you to look at them. The first award to be presented today is the Joel Fleischman Distinguished Scholar Award. The Joel Fleischman Distinguished Scholar Award is given to the student with the highest GPA in public policy. The award is named for our own Joel Fleischman, who joined the Duke faculty in 1971 as a professor of law and public policy. He was appointed as the founding director of the Institute of Policy, Sciences, and Public Affairs, which we know today as the Sanford School. Pre, and hopefully post-COVID, students hang out in the Fleischmann's Common, which is named in his honor. I am pleased to present Hannah Miao with the Fleischmann Distinguished Scholar Award for 2021. She is graduating with a major in public policy and a minor in theater studies. After graduation, she is moving to New York to be a markets reporter for CNBC. In a subsequent video, Joe Fleischmann will provide additional remarks on Hannah's achievements, so I won't say much here. But please join me in congratulating Hannah on her academic excellence. Now I'd like to present the award for Best Honors Thesis. The Honors Thesis is undertaken by a select group of students in which they undertake a year-long research project on a topic of their choosing. The Best Thesis Award is given to the student whose thesis excels because it is an empirically rigorous novel project that makes a clear and compelling contribution. The Best Honors Thesis Award this year goes to Sophia Katz for her thesis titled Wasted Energy, Redirecting Investment into Renewables Through Environmental Policy. Sophia majored in public policy with a minor in environmental sciences and a certificate in markets and management. After graduation, she will be an analyst in the Tactical Opportunities Group at Blackstone. Her thesis examined if the Clean Power Plan, a policy that limited carbon dioxide emissions from power plants, changed investment behavior to move away from investing in coal and towards renewable energy. Sophia produced, as her advisor describes, a persuasive analysis of how capital markets perceived this policy and what its likely impact would be on investor behavior. Her high-quality event study of the implications of a major environmental policy demonstrates a depth of knowledge not only about environmental regulations, but also about the complexities of stock indices and green investing. In addition, Sophia learned the methods she needed to examine this question on her own, demonstrating a deep commitment to learning and a remarkable degree of self-motivation. In the end, and again to echo the words of the committee, she produced a richly researched and clearly communicated study with real-world policy implications. Congratulations, Sophia. The last student award that I'm going to describe is the Terry Sanford Leadership Award. This award is presenting to a graduating senior who emulates Terry Sanford's outrageous ambition and leadership. Terry Sanford was a former governor of North Carolina, U.S. Senator, and president of Duke University for 15 years and he founded our school in 1971. One of the hallmarks of his leadership style was his ability to inspire young people to take on challenging tasks and to make real change happen. The winner of this year's award is Lauren Howell. Lauren is a public policy major with minors in cinematic arts and education. I can't adequately explain all of Lauren's achievements in the few short minutes I have, but suffice to say that Lauren has been a powerful, relentless, and effective voice in the fight against racial injustice, police brutality, and systematic oppression. During the summer of 2020, she emerged as a local leader in organizing and coordinating numerous demonstrations, protests, and sit-ins, including an eight-day occupation of the governor's mansion. She has also collaborated with local activists and justice leaders, including state Supreme Court Justice Anita Earls, in pushing the Durham City Council to provide free public transportation to Durham citizens during early voting. And oh yes, she is learning Arabic in order to better understand and tackle Islamophobia. 
She is also working on a documentary and serves as Executive Vice President of NC Born Media, an initiative to expose injustice and amplify community voices. In the words of her nominator, passionate, brilliant, and fearless, Lauren combines skills that are in short supply among leaders of all ages, a capacity for listening, a stomach for conflict, empathy, historical acumen, and intellectual curiosity. By fighting the fight for those who cannot fight themselves, as she says in her documentary, Lauren embodied the outrageous ambition that Terry Sanford talked about. Please congratulate her in winning this award. The final award is the Susan E. Tift Teaching and Mentoring Award, given to the faculty member who made outstanding contributions to the teaching mission of the undergraduate programs of the Sanford School of Public Policy, and has a deep commitment to the intellectual, professional, and personal development of undergraduate majors. The award is given in honor of Susan Tift, who was the Eugene C. Patterson Professor of the Practice of Communications and Journalism here at Sanford. She was an award-winning journalist with a profound dedication to her students. She died in 2010 after a courageous battle with cancer. We honor her with this award. This year, the Susan Tiff Teaching and Mentoring Award goes to Professor Kristen Goss. Dr. Goss, a political scientist, is a professor in the Sanford School of Public Policy, the director of the Center for the Study of Philanthropy and Voluntar Voluntarism, and the director of Duke and DC Policy Leadership and Innovation. Professor Goss is an extremely skillful and dedicated teacher with an intense desire to see her students succeed. When faced with the reality of Zoom-based instruction, Professor Goss took extraordinary efforts to rework her classes and dedicated herself to making sure that students receive the same high-quality instruction that they have come to expect of Sanford. In making these changes, Dr. Goss was also acutely aware of the stresses and anxieties that her students were facing. Structuring her class to meet her students' social-emotional needs without sacrificing intellectual rigor. As one of her students commented, commented, she made tremendous adjustments to her teaching and balanced the emotional well-being of her students with genuine learning. As summarized by one of her students, though our interactions have been limited through a computer screen and from miles away, the raw, relevant, and captivating conversations Professor Goss and I have had have made me a wiser and more insightful person. I know that Professor Goss is committed to my development as a public policy student here at Duke, but also to my success as an intellectual beyond it, beyond it. We thank Professor Goss for her teaching efforts and are so proud that she is a Sanford faculty member. The last person I will introduce is Ali Diaz, who is this year's class speaker. Ali is a public policy major who will be graduating with distinction in public policy. During her time at Duke, Ali served as Vice President of the Durham, Regional, Durham and Regional Affairs for Duke Student Government, where she increased student involvement with the local community and advocated for students to engage in responsible civic engagement. She is also Vice President of Define American, Duke's Immigrant Student Advocacy Group, and works with Student Action with Farm Workers, a nonprofit organization that empowers and advocates for farm worker families in North Carolina. Growing up in an immigrant community inspired her to increase traditionally underrepresented communities' access and influence in public policy. Next year, Ali will complete her Hart Fellowship at Glory House Miami, where she will help the organization expand the program's outreach to human traffic survivors. I've heard her speech and it is inspiring, funny, and celebratory. Please be sure to watch it, as well as the other videos presented as part of our gra Sanford graduation ceremony. So once again, to the class of 2021, I say congratulations on this wonderful achievement. Thank you.